storytellers, welcome to the channel. My name is Lauren and this is the life of a storyteller. Today I'm going to be doing a shop Disney unboxing and I'm going to be showing you a couple of items that I received as late Christmas presents which are also Disney themed. Now disclaimer, I may have said it is an unboxing, however it's quite well known in the Disney community and if you don't know I, I will inform you that Hermes who do the deliveries for Shop Disney have been having some questionable choices and opinions at the moment. Uh, one of those things is it's been known that they have actually been opening up people's parcels and stealing the things that they have bought and then delivering them to places that isn't their house. It's yeah I'm really lucky that our Hermes driver has actually been really lovely however that said the box didn't arrive uh, basically all my stuff got chucked into a blue bin bag and sellotaped up with part of the label ripped off the box stuck on top. So for that reason, and obviously, you know, people making obvious complaints about the fact that Hermes have been taking their products, I decided to open it all off camera because that's, that's not a good unboxing video. That's not a good one for the first one on the channel. So we unwrapped it and we checked everything was there. And other than everything being soaking wet, everything was there. So we've dried everything off. I have seen everything, but I still thought I'd come on and we can discuss the items that I bought. Now, let's begin. <laughs> There's quite a lot. So Disney have been celebrating the 55th anniversary of Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. I love, love Winnie the Pooh, always have, huge fan. I had a hundred acre wood themed bedroom at one point as a kid. Um, it was, I had a weird crossover. It was a really, it was originally Beatrix Potter and then my mum got me a load of 100 acre wood stuff and they kind of blended between the two. But I remember it really fondly. So this collection was something I very much wanted to be involved in. Um, I didn't buy everything in the collection. A multitude of reasons. One, I'm, I'm not made of money. Um, that is actually the biggest reason. Second reason, there was a lot of products in this range that weren't relevant to me and my lifestyle. And I always believe if, it's not relevant to who I am. I should not partake in the purchase of it because there's other people who it would. So for example, the baby grows. Which one? They were adorable. Mm. But I do not have a baby. <laughs> and uh, I'm okay with that at the moment. That, you know, I'm, I'm young, I'm good. I'm good without, I'm happy being the child. <laughs> So I obviously didn't buy any of that, but I did buy quite a bit. Shop Disney, uh, like my bank account. So we are going to start with the Disney key. So I know a lot of people have been collecting the keys. There's different ways you can display them. I know one person on Instagram actually hang theirs on their Christmas tree. And if I had more than the two that are here and now this one that I bought, I probably would have done the same. Um, I still haven't figured out how I'm displaying mine. They're hanging on my mirror. I should probably figure that out. <laughs> we'll get there one day. But yeah, this is the new key. It is the Winnie the Pooh key. It has um, honeycomb over the Disney D, so like the handle. And what is, what? The clasp, because it's the bit that unlocks it. The bit that unlocks it is also made of honeycomb. Um, and the pattern's got bees on and it's red in the middle with Winnie the Pooh. I think this is one of the best key shop Disney have made in a long time. There's a little... I hate to say it because I know they're mass produced, but there is a little, little funny work with the paint. It's not fully covered on one of the edges and you can see where bits of it have chipped during production. Um, but that said, that's only if you're looking up close. So from a distance, I think that is wonderful. Um, I'm, what, are you guys one of these people? I like to keep all my labels on things, but it's really annoying. <laughs> so if you've got a better way of storing your labels or do you just go, bun that, I don't want them. Uh, mention in the comments because I think I need to get over my obsession with keeping labels on everything. So that's the key. I am gonna put this behind me to remind me to hang it on my mirror until I can think of somewhere better to hang it. Uh, we're going to go on to pin now, the pin. So this is part of the Legacy collection and oh, it's one of the best bits. I feel like I had this moment like Winnie the Pooh did once in between two cars that were parked. I have dyspraxia and I completely got stuck between the two because I, I thought I fit. 
So there you go, there's your laugh for the day. But yes, it's Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin. And it's when Winnie the Pooh is stuck inside uh, the entrance to Rabbit's house, or one of the entrances to Rabbit's house, after he's eaten way too much honey. Um, that's a mood really, isn't it? <laughs> it's a mood. Uh, if you change honey, actually no, I probably would do it for honey, but if you change honey to chocolate, that's me. Um, I've only, I've collected pins before, but I've never had anywhere to display them. I still don't. I hugely want to get into it. So I got this primarily to put into my little pin bag in the hope that in the next few months I can find a way to display them or put them in a book because um, I want to keep them safe. Maybe a pin bag. I do love bags. Maybe this would be something I say for. I, I quite like that. So that was the Winnie the Pooh pin. Now there was also plushes. I have a plush obsession. It's a problem. <laughs> I do not have the space for this. And back home, I've got a storage locker and there is probably about 200 Beanie Babies and plush toys from the 90s in suitcases in there. Primarily Disney or Ty. It's called Ty. I know it's T-Y, but it's actually pronounced Ty. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna start with Eeyore. Look at him with his little thistle. And the thistle's like, um, not like an iridescent material. Mm, I suppose it is actually. It is a bit like an iridescent. Anyway, I really like it. He's super soft. Um, I, I personally would like it if Disney came out with more plushes in this kind of style. Now the only thing with him and with the other plush I got, which was Winnie the Pooh, that it's a bit surprising. He's slightly cheaper than some of the medium plushes. I, he was, I've got my head of 16, yeah, 16 pounds. And so I was like, okay, he's cheaper than some of the medium plushes. However, I have the medium plush of Eeyore and Disney. There's a significant size difference between what you call medium and medium. Don't wrong, I actually think he's a lovely size. He's actually more easy to carry and hold. Um, he's a lovely cuddle in bed. But it was a bit shocking to put these two next to each other because he is so much bigger. Hello, Eeyore. I love a blush. So yeah, so I got I got Eeyore. Um, oh, look at his tail. Oh, and the bow is like the, their traditional plush style, like the slightly velvety feel. Um, but I love him. I'm so glad I got him. I love you. So that's Eeyore. Now Pooh Bear, I actually. On the website, I wasn't sure what I thought of his design. So when he arrived and I fell in love with him, I was very, very happy. Uh, my plan was if if I did get him and I didn't love him, I, I would go on one of the Facebook selling sites and sell him for the price of what he cost. I got free delivery because I spent so much. And I'm, I don't see the point in trying to make a profit when I could make someone's day. Ugh. Ugh. It was a bit cringy, wasn't it? But it is true, I would rather make someone's day. So, Winnie the Pooh's also covered in a little bit of cream fluff, which I'll explain later. But look at him! His little bee. Now, I will warn you, something that surprised me, I don't know if you're gonna see this on camera, he's got such a long snoot for a bear. Also, you can't really see it, but he actually has like a embroidered tongue in there as well. Um, Yeah, he's not, as a Pooh Bear, he's not the most stuffed. Like if you hold actually him, he's really thin, but obviously that's because he's holding his balloon, which I still can't decide because some of it, some of it feels like the bean bag. Some of it feels like memory foam. So I think it's a blend of the two. The material they've used for the balloon, although very effective in the look, I personally don't like the feel of it. It's like a lycra feel. Um, I work in a rather famous toy store in central London as an entertainer and we wear superhero costumes of this material in this colour so that might actually be why I don't like this so much but the Pooh Bear himself he's super adorable I love this style of fur I think Disney need to do more like different fur typed plushes because some people are going to want the really velvety soft some people are going to want like the bear fluffy style I I love him now my last item out of the Winnie the Pooh stuff I got 
I'm actually going to insert some separate footage of me wearing it and it was the Winnie the Pooh hoodie. I'm in love. This is probably the best hoodie I have ever bought. I put it on as soon as it arrived and I, well, once it dried and I am in love with it. I am going to hold it up so you can see. Look, look at that. <laughs> it's Pooh Bear Piglet and Christopher Robin and it said so off they went and I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try and do like a close up but it's it's printed on but you like you can't feel the print so it's like in the material but the gold embellishings are all sewn in and that was a really nice touch that i i hadn't noticed on the website and it are oh, the finish on this hoodie is incredible also sizing so i'm not a small person I, like i may have mentioned i i quite like chocolate i'm slightly obsessed with it it's a problem and recently cheese are oh, cheese and crackers mm, I'm getting distracted so I've put on a little bit of weight it's a lockdown weight but I was always a little bit of a chunky yet funky large and in charge size person and particularly in the Disney parks I have found their clothing sizes really difficult so I've got a thump hoodie I got in Paris oh my god Christmas 2019 <laughs> it's been so long um, and it was the biggest as they did at the time which extra large and it's actually a little bit too small for me it was then I haven't tried putting it on in a while but this is huge and I, I love a baggy hoodie I also got an XL so same size but like uh, it's it's so big I love it um, and it's quite long as well I prefer a longer hoodie I like baggy trousers and long hoodies what can I say? This is probably the best purchase I have made for myself in a very, very long time. I rate this hoodie so much. And the inside, oh, it it's plush and soft. That is why I mentioned that Winnie the Pooh's got little bits of cream fluff all over him, was because I fell asleep wearing my hoodie on the sofa, cuddling him yesterday. Lockdown vibes, what can I say? Um, and some of the fluff on the inside has already come off on him. So I am aware that the fluffiness and the warmth on the inside of this might not last the longest, but still the best purchase I think I have made in a very long time. Now in this box as well, I did buy another pin. It's not Winnie the Pooh related, but it's also a legacy collection one. On the same day the Winnie the Pooh items were released, the pin for the 60th anniversary of 101 Dalmatians was also released. And I said that a bit quick, didn't I? The 101 Dalmatians pin was also released. Pronunciate, woman. Um, I, I I love all the films with the animals in. I'm an animal person. Just are oh, little little animals. So I, I got the pin. I love the pin. I'm a I'm a little bit disappointed in Shop Disney for the fact that I love Pooh Bear as well. So I'm not discrediting it. But there was such a push for the 55th anniversary of Winnie the Pooh. And yet there was so little for 101 Dalmatians. It, yeah. Like imagine if they had made plushes of the Dalmatians but in this fluff. Oh, and you, maybe, oh, you pick their collars. Oh my, mm, shop Disney, hire me. I'm good at merchandise. Mm, please, actually anywhere in Disney, hire me, please. I'd love to work Disney. But yeah, so I got the pin, um, I love it. So it is the scene at the end when they've all come back and they're covered in soot and they sit around the piano and it's all sparkly. I <laughs> just, oh. oh. So yeah, I love, I love this pin. It's very much a very good, very good purchase. But like I said, I'm just a little bit disappointed that Disney didn't push more with the 101 Dalmatians anniversary. It's 60 years, 60 years. Come on, Disney rant over although i did also buy i put it on my instagram i'm not going to show you now because um it's actually all the way over there <laughs> but i did go on asda and i bought a lot of their 101 dalmatians uh homeware i've got cups bowls plates the works i'm living for it <laughs> they've got winnie the pooh as well they've got jungle book and they've got mickey mouse and minnie on there as well um 101 dalmatians because it's black and white it's just easy to clean isn't it really so that's why we got that also just before 
if this actually arrived separately a few days before, I was able to get Stitch. So this is part of the Stitch Crashes Disney range, which I know has been a little bit controversial. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not going to get February's. I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wasn't sure I'd like this stitch because of the material, but I said that about one of the Minnie Mouse main attractions from last year. And when she arrived, I loved her. So I convinced myself, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney film of all time, period. Absolute favorite. And so him being the first one in January, he came out um, around my mum's birthday as well, and every year when it's her birthday, because she's no longer with us, I, I treat myself. I do, I give myself a pick me up, and technically it's a present from me to her, from her to me. Um, so I thought he'd be it. My, yet again, my plan was if, if it wasn't love, I knew there'd be people out there who were desperate as part of a collection. So I knew that I could be a nice person. <laughs> But unfortunately, I, I did fall in love with him. He is made of like a satin. Um, the stitching on some of it, <laughs> the stitching, stitch. Uh, it isn't great, but I know it's because of the material. It just looks a little puckered. Um, but like even on the ear, it's got like this beautiful rose print. And on the back, you've got these silky pur purple patches. Yeah, they're purple. Um, Oh, I just, oh. He's also really good to cuddle. He, because of the material, he does stay quite cold. So potentially not a nice cuddle, super cold winter time. Uh, like when everyone else got snow and we didn't. Gotta love South East London. Um, but yeah, I, I love him. I think he's adorable. I, I won't be getting February's. I just, the whole, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. There's about to be a spoiler, really sorry. Lady and the Tramp, and they went with the spaghetti and meatballs. But like, not even that well done. Like, I know there's be people out there who really love it, but my dad's favorite film is Lady and the Tramp. And so I, I kind of collect stuff to do with that. I also love it. Um, even the, the live action one they did on Disney Plus, I watched that. I loved every minute of it. So it's a bit disappointing and I, I'm i not sure how I feel about the whole collection in general. Cause like I said, I, I wasn't sure this was love online. It was love in person. The, the Lady in the Trump one is a definite no. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, so that Shop Disney. I also, like I said, had a lot of presents given to me after Christmas because of the pandemic and also because I caught coronavirus. <laughs> so I couldn't go anywhere. So I recently got these from uh, my partner's mum, his sister, and a few from friends and relatives. So some of it I'm gonna insert footage for because I've already put them out around the flat. Um, and I didn't particularly fancy bundling everything over here when some of it is breakable. But first of all, I received this case. It has got stuff in it at the moment. <laughs> I've not actually emptied it. And it's got Minnie and Mickey and it's like um, the sketch print. I love the sketch look of all the characters. I've got um, one of like the huge Disney sketchbooks that I actually used when I was at uni because I, I studied theatre but I did film modules and I, I got to write about Disney for a year which was brilliant. I love this. Pink has become one of my favourite colours. I don't know what happened to me, but I'm I'm obsessed with pink at the moment. And by at the moment, past six months. So I really like this. Um, I'm probably going to use it in like my everyday bag just to keep medications, acid pumps, things like that in. Uh, and I can guarantee this will be coming in my bag to the Disney parks. Inside as well, because like I said, I haven't fully emptied it. I also received part of the Revolution, I Heart Revolution Disney range. So this is the Cinderella, why was I so, why was I finding that so hard? The Cinderella. Um, this is the highlighter. Now when it arrived, it, it had partly broken. Um, so when I unwrapped it and I opened it up, highlighter went everywhere and part of it just did all over my cheeks. Great. I tried this highlighter today 
and I really like the cutter color cutter color color um, it's subtle I don't know why I smell makeup but the smell has something to do with it the smell isn't great it has it is very messy now it it has smashed quite a lot I will use it um, I personally prefer my benefit highlighter oh it's just a beautiful color but I'm so glad I got to give this a try um, I'm very thankful to Dan's sister who remembered how much I love makeup and bought me that. She also got me the Cinderella palette. I haven't used this yet. I'm excited to. Like, look at those colours. Look at these. I love makeup. So the only qualm I have with it is I generally don't really use much blue makeup and obviously Cinderella is now associated with the colour blue, which is annoying because actually in the original her dress is more like a white clear colour. But anyway, so a lot of the colours are blue, so I'm I think I'm just gonna have to learn to be inventive with my makeup, maybe do some tutorials and learn. But the colours are fab. The sort of blushes and bronzers and highlighters, this is this is the bit I'm more excited for. I do love a blush. I do have a tendency to over blush though. Um, and then I have to cover all loads of powder to get rid of it. So, you know. Now this one I have opened, this I actually bought myself. And the reason I'm showing you is because it arrived pretty much the day before all this Disney stuff and because his sister, my partner's sister bought me this. But I, I got Beauty and the Beast one. I managed to get this on sale from ASOS. I was desperately trying to get this the day it was released on uh, iHeart Revolution's website, along with like the glittery lip gloss of hers. I wasn't able to get either. <laughs> I don't have a lot, I don't know about you guys, I don't have a lot of luck when things are released. I think this is the luckiest I've been with the Winnie the Pooh stuff. Like the luckiest. Um, I have used this and I love it. Um, yet again, this side was my favorite side. The eyeshadows, what I have found is the like glittery or shimmery ones are a lot better to use than the matte ones. The matte ones kind of stick and don't move. Um, and they're hard to blend out and they're quite deep colours but the shimmery shiny ones which oh, personally I prefer anyway I love a glitter they so far have been cracking to use and blend and, mm. so I'm, I'm glad I got this and to give it a try it's also one of the first times I've ever used revolution makeup and um, I rate it I, I rate their makeup their makeup is really really good now I think everything not too bad not too bad but yeah I hope you enjoyed that um leave comments down below did you like the Winnie the Pooh range did you get anything I want to know um the few items that I debated getting were the Winnie the Pooh watch but I wasn't a huge fan of the material on the watch strap I, the umbrella was cool but I've already got a Winnie the Pooh umbrella from last year yeah there was, there was quite a lot in the range that I was like oh I'd really like you oh but money it's a pandemic we've got to be careful the only thing that is a real regret is potentially not buying Kanga and Rue in the new plush style it annoyed me that Rue wasn't in the same plush style even though he's in her pocket he, he's not in that kind of fluffy style and I also found that Kanga was potentially an unusual character to pick like if you're gonna do Pooh and Eeyore I don't know why I just I'd assume it'd be a Tigger or a Piglet Pigs aren't fluffy. Do I care? No. Could you imagine a piglet? Mm. Yeah. Um, they also brought back more stock of their uh, traditional Winnie the Pooh plushes as well, which was nice to see. Uh, there's only two plushes from the collection that I'm actually missing now. One is Owl, and the other one is Rue. Rue's the one I'm debating buying. I want to buy him to complete the collection, but I also don't want to buy him because you've already got a Rue in Kanga's pouch. <sighs> Give me your opinions down below. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time this is. And I'll see you later. Thanks for joining, bye. Hi guys, I'm coming back on really quickly because I realized I actually forgot a product. I am now wearing my hoodie as well, because it's cold in here. I also got the cushion. Um, I forgot about it because I was a, uh, it's my back support, I, I was sitting on it. It's done the same way as the hoodie. It's got 
um, embroidery all in the print of the tree and oh, I, it's, it's really comfortable. Disney need to stop with the really long tags though, it's annoying. Um, on the back, it's the 100 acre wood and across it you can see all the characters. Um, it's super comfy. The only problem is it's a wipe clean. You can't actually like, stick it in a washing machine and there's no zip. Uh, that's the only thing I would change. But yeah, I love this embroidery and the cushion, it's lovely.